for some tech here and Dell XPS 15 2 in 1 versus MacBook Pro 15 inch. That's a mouthful, but this comparison is also because we have a bunch of categories that we're going to be comparing with both of these devices today, including the design, display, battery, features, performance, audio slash ports, and even the price. So, but the new XPS 2 in 1, 15 2 in 1 wants to be the MacBook Pro killer. The MacBook Pro has really been the holy grail of computers lately. And for video editing or graphics designing, people are just going towards that or even in general. So let's kick it off with the design. Both of these are really cool looking computers. But one thing the Dell XPS 15 has to offer more than um, the Apple flagship is one, a touch display and two, a two in one. So what this enables is you can sort of fold this into a tablet and you can use it as a tablet, but I don't think people are really going to do this if you have a 15 inch computer, first of all. Something which is good to enable is the touch. That's a nice added bonus and I think a good amount of people are going to use it. And some people are just going to be like, oh, okay, it's just an added touch, get a touch that they're going to give me, so it's fine. But the design of the MacBook Pro is just so much more appealing. Here is a picture of the MacBook Pro right here and the XPS 15 2-in-1. The MacBook Pro, though the XPS 15 2-in-1 is that much better, it's so good, it's refined, the carbon fiber is amazing, the keyboard is re um, redesigned, both of them, but the webcam's design is really bad, uh, though I do like the bezel-less finish. Um, the chunky bezel on the bottom still sort of holds me down. The MacBook Pro is really refined. The silver aluminum is really good. Um, the speakers are in the right place. I love the trackpad, first of all. And it's just more of a professional computer, you could say. Um, so the design category has to go hands down to the MacBook Pro. Um, the MacBook Pro just knocks XPS out of the ballpark. How about the display? Both of these are really powerful. The Dell's comes in at a 1080p or a 4K resolution while the um, MacBook Pro stays at an 1800p resolution, you could say. So it's in between 4K and uh, 1440p, so somewhere there. It's 2880 by 1800 for the MacBook Pro, and depending on which one you get, 1920 or 1080, or 3840 by 2160 for the Dell XPS. I would not recommend going for the 4K, just for the battery life, um, which we'll get to later. It's the next category, wait up for it. Um, but the MacBook Pro gives the best display, I think, because of that Retina display coming in. Um, uh, it just, no matter how big of a resolution you have, Apple's been really good at making this, these displays um, crisp and sharp. And the Retina display just refines all of that. It looks uh, completely awesome. And I'd say the overall category goes to this because it uh, goes to the MacBook Pro. It has better display in the base model itself, and you don't have to upgrade uh, fully to the 4K model to get that. So I like how the MacBook Pro stays there. Oh yeah, how about the battery life, or the battery in general? The XPS 15 normal 1080p will get you, as I said in my um, comparison between the HP Spectre X360, it gets around, I'd say, 9 to 11 hours, same. The MacBook Pro also will get... Actually, a little more, I'd say 10 to 12 hours if you keep it on. And the 4K XPS 15, you can get maybe 7 or 6 six to 8 hours, I'd say, on that. So that's a little low for the 4K, but the 1080p model is doing really good. But just because um, the 4K model isn't doing that great, um, and some people are going to pick that, and so the MacBook Pro is just good overall. It might be just a little lower than the 1080p version, but then you're sacrificing an awesome screen. So battery life also has to go to the MacBook Pro. How about some of the features that both of these offers? Well, first of all, the XPS 2-in-1 offers a 2-in-1 design, touch display, 4K display, um, fingerprint identification. It also um, has a new keyboard, which will... It's a, it, just like the MacBook Pros, you could say. It has the clickiness, a, well, a less sound, but small key travel. Um, while the MacBook Pro has Touch ID, the touch bar, awesome speakers, first of all, that's a really nice added bonus, a huge trackpad, new keyboard, and 
just, I'd say, a better overall appearance, but that's not really a feature. So, but even if MacBook Pro just coming in with that touch bar is a huge feature, um, most people don't think it's really um, useful. Here's a picture of it right here with the Touch ID on the side. Touch ID is really nice. It's second generation, so the newest one. But Touch Bar is really cool to just have. I mean, it's just really nice. The practicality, we're still not sure about. I mean, as more apps support it, it would be better. But the features category, just because of the Touch Bar, has to go to MacBook Pro. All right, how about the performance? Both of these are really capable um, computers. But I'd say one has some ups, one has some ups, one has some downs, one has some downs. So the MacBook Pro 15 inch comes with a dedicated GPU. Um, it also has a seventh generation Intel Core processor, which is um, the i7 base, so you can't really go from there. So you can upgrade to nothing for the processor. It's just an i7 chip. Um, you can upgrade clock speed, I think, though. Um, it has... 16 gigabytes of RAM base, 256 gigabytes of storage base. And both of these are upgradable to, I think, just 16 gigabytes of RAM and um, 2 terabytes of storage. This, the XPS 15, on the other hand, has an 8th gen i5 processor to an i7 processor. Comes only with 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage in the base model. And you can upgrade both of these to up to 16 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of storage. But the MacBook Pro actually features more storage than you would expect. And basically, the Dell's highest spec 4K um, display, uh, which costs you around $2,200, gets you the same spec as the MacBook Pro base, which comes in at a hefty price tag, though. We'll get to that in the next cat uh, two categories later. <laughs> so yeah, performance is basically a tie in this, so can't really give the cake to one instead of the other. Audio and ports, I'm not going to spend too much time about this. Um, ports are basically the same, uh, four USB-C ports on both of them, and the charger. That's pretty much it. Um, the USB Type-C, I don't know, both of the manufacturers are going that way, but I don't know if that's awesome. Maybe include maybe one USB-A or maybe each HDMI, but it's okay. They both fa feature the same, so audio. But the audio is actually a little better in the MacBook Pro. The front firing, it's really cool and really good. So the ports sort of cancel out, so the audio and port segment goes to the MacBook Pro. All right, how about the price, the final holy grail of the categories? Um, the XPS 15 comes in at a base model of $1,500, and you can spec this, I think, up to, like, maybe $2,800. MacBook Pro comes in at a, a hefty price tag of, I think, $2,300 or $2,400, which um, I'm a little skeptical about. I think it's probably $2,400, but I'll tell you guys in a second. But you can upgrade the MacBook Pro all the way to a whopping, I think, $4,600, so $2,400 to $4,600, which is oh, a lot. But the base model, MacBook Pro, $2,400, gives you basically everything, the uh, the highest end, well, not highest end, but $2,200, 4K, the entry-level 4K that the XPS offers. So you're getting, uh, I'd say, a better package with the MacBook Pro. So price will probably go to the MacBook Pro. Okay, right, what's the verdict, guys? The MacBook Pro is the winner in this one. Thanks for watching. Drop a like down below. Subscribe right up there for more awesome content, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.